Hi everyone, I'm Patrick Walker with Defensive Mechanics. Thanks for joining me today for a review of the two-day fighting rifle course from Tactical Response. Before I get started, I wanted to give a shout out to Next Level Training, makers of the CERT pistol, as well as my t-shirt, and as well as the Laser Team, who make a laser-activated shot reporter software. Together, I love to use them to break up the monotony of traditional dry practice. You can do a ton of different drills with them, and if you don't have the money to get out to the range, you want to save some ammo, it's a great option. So, if you're interested, check out the links below uh, the description for the video. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do an overview of the class before I get to the review portion of the video, and I'll be mixing in this footage uh, from the class as we go through this. Uh, before I start the overview, I wanted to reinforce the recommendation that people should take the fighting pistol course first before the fighting rifle. Uh, not because if a, co a competent shooter couldn't perform the drills, but because there's a lot of information pertaining to mindset, uh, like the co color Cooper codes, uh, physical effects of adrenaline, principles of personal defense that really need to be covered before to prepare a person for fighting with a firearm. There's also terms like OODA loop and acronyms like fast and move that are introduced in the fighting pistol class that carry really over to all the other fighting arms, uh, fighting firearms courses. So please keep that in mind when you are looking to take the fighting rifle course. All right, so uh, overview of the first day. On the first day, we started out with a safety brief and emergency medical plan. Uh, now a note to all the haters out there, I really find it funny when I see comments on the web about how unsafe TAC response classes are. When in my experience, the instructor spent a good deal of time at the beginning of each day developing a safety and emergency plan so everyone would know what to do if there was an accident. And throughout the day, the instructors constantly kept their eyes out for unsafe practices. A perfect example that I personally experienced at the beginning of the fast drills, I was struggling with my arm placement on my new plate carrier uh, during the scanning phase, and Dave Bigger saw that my muzzle wasn't perfectly 90 degrees it was more like a 475, and he promptly let me know that uh, to point that thing straight up because it can become a safety issue later on when we're side by side and back to back uh, doing the team drills and stuff like that. So I just want to mention that I felt really comfortable with the instructor's ability to point out and prevent any issues that could lead to more catastrophic issues. So uh, after the safety brief and the med plan, we went over our goals and objectives for the course. We discussed shooting fundamentals and ready positions. The safety in the lecture portion was only about an hour long. Uh, then we went to the range. So there we did uh, pistol refresher drills and moved on to rifle drills, like uh, the DEA dot drills, which are, these are the DEA, DEA dots right here. We did, worked on transitions and speed reloads. Then we learned about the FAST acronym, which is Fight, Assess, Scan, and Top Off. And we worked on those drills. Back in the scan, heck yeah. Five in the we ate some lunch, worked on ground transitioning, offside shooting drills. All right, pick one of those dots down there low, five or the six, aim in. And fight. <laughs> Then we worked on moving and shooting drills, both forwards and backwards, as well as side to side. I learned a much more efficient way to move side to side while being able to keep my uh, sights on target. 
during this phase. So that I really thought that was awesome. Uh, being able to effectively shoot and move at the same time is a huge advantage. I thought I'd throw in some footage of the setup as well to show that the instructors could be serious, but also humorous and engaging. The class was never boring, that's for sure. And to finish off the day, we worked on some serpentine drills, both forwards and backwards, as well as side to side. All right, day two. So we start out once again with a safety brief, always important, and a medical emergency plan. Then we move straight into the range with some basic pistol and rifle drills to warm up. Uh, once we did that, we finished out the morning focusing on unorthodox shooting positions, more transitioning drills, the use of cover and concealment. Sorry guys, I didn't get any footage of these drills. So uh, next year I will. I'll get to that in a minute. After lunch, we came back to finish out the day with team drills, such as leapfrogging and bounding, and you're gonna see some footage of those drills. All in all, guys, it was incredibly informative and exhausting, but in a good way. All the guys I talked to with and with truly enjoyed the class, said it was definitely worth the time, money, and ammo. Uh, I barely glossed over the type of drills we did in this review or the overview, so I'm sure I forgot of you. And it's also my understanding that the TAC response, they constantly review and evolve their techniques and class material, so the stuff I covered may not be exactly or go exactly the same way if you take the class at a later date. So I just wanted to give out that caveat there. So as far as the review goes, no surprise, I gave it a five. It truly was an outstanding course. I have taken two other carbine classes, uh, similar in nature, but this class covered more material and had higher number of repetitions than any other I've been to. I think it also covered a lot more unorthodox shooting positions and team tactics way more effectively than the other courses I've taken. So, uh, a breakdown of my review criteria. The primary purpose, I gave this course a five. Uh, there wasn't anything I'd change about this course. My primary purpose was to learn how to fight more effectively with a rifle. It certainly was accomplished at that. It, it would it'd be hard for me to come up with topics that weren't already covered in this first level rifle course. Now, my secondary purpose of learning how to fight more effectively in teams, I also gave it a five. 
Now, there's certainly other courses out there that can teach you to more techniques of fighting in teams. But since this was a really a level one course, I, I felt it really did a great job of touching on the basics. Now, I keep saying level one course. Some of you may be confused by that. Uh, I certainly didn't feel that it was a, a beginner's course. Um, so to clarify, I'm only saying that it's a level one because it's TAC Response's first level defensive rifle course. So that's kind of what I was getting at there when I say that term. Uh, other criteria, fit and finish. Now, for this class, this criteria is based on the quality of lectures, materials, knowledge of the instructor, safety, as well as the instructor's ability to control and guide the students. We got a student manual to take with us. It covers safety, course objectives, ready positions, zeroing procedures, and that barely just touches the knowledge given in the manual. So it's been very handy to refer back to after the class. The lectures were short. We spent about 90% of the time on the range, which was great. This also kind of goes back to my caveat at the beginning of the video, talking about the fighting pistol course. There were more lectures in that class, but to convey the importance of mindset, you really, really, really need to cover that material in the class. Uh, and I would have done a fighting pistol course review first. You may be, some of you may be wondering why I have it. It's because I had a family emergency, so I wasn't able to attend the whole class. I only got the first day and then just a couple hours of the second day. So I, I couldn't really adequately cover the course, at least fairly, I thought. So I'll do another one next year because they're coming back in June of, well, this year. They're coming back in June of this year in 2016. And they're also going to be back in September of this year doing some more fighting rifle classes. So I can do a follow-up review to kind of compare the two classes together. So look forward to that. All right, next criteria, ease of use, ergonomics, and problems. I certainly gave it a five. The class moved along at a great pace. Everyone at all skill levels were able to pick up the techniques. It was nice because we had three instructors, which kept the ratio about a one to six instructor to student ratio. So that really helped keep the information flowing, but also have time for questions. And I didn't feel like I was getting rushed along to the next drill without being prepared for it or not really learning what happened in the last drill. So we were able to break off into two or more relays during the, the drills so the instructors can really keep us moving, but also offer critique and prep us for the next relay so we didn't feel like we didn't, weren't ready for that relay. Uh, there, were, there weren't any problems to speak of. So uh, the next item, customer interaction, certainly a five. Uh, they were a little crazy busy to get this classes scheduled. Uh, I was setting up, I was the host of the class. So once we got the dialogue going and emails going back and forth, we were able to set it up. After that, everything was like butter. So uh, working with the instructors, oh man, Dave Biggers, Tim Morris, Jay Gibson, they were the three guys that came out, all awesome guys. Super knowledgeable, professional, easy to talk to, Definitely no supersized egos out there uh, among any of them. They were always available after class, and quite a few of us ate dinner with them almost every night. So there was humor, personal stories, camaraderie amongst all the instructors, some of which was truly hilarious. But it, it helped balance out the super serious side of what we were doing and learning, you know, fight with our firearms. So bottom line, I can't recommend enough. You take the fighting rifle class, but take the fighting pistol first. So, I just wanted to uh, share this experience with you. I was not paid for this review in any way, shape, or form. Um, so, thanks for watching, and remember, mindset, marksmanship, mechanics. Only by paying attention to all three attributes can you become a superior warrior.